Hey, art friends, in this lesson, we're learning how to draw an emu. I hope you're gonna follow along with me. Let's get started. I'm using a marker to draw with, but you could use a pencil instead if you want. We're gonna start by drawing our emu's head up here in the top left of our paper so that we have room for the big feathery body over here on the right. And we could also draw it towards the top so that we have room for the really tall legs. I'm gonna start here and we're gonna draw a circle and I'm gonna add a, a little dot in the middle. <laughs> and I think their eyes are kind of this orange color. We're gonna draw the beak next. We're gonna draw a sideways V. Then we're gonna draw the eyebrow that goes over the top. And sometimes they have, it almost looks like they have eyelashes over there <laughs> on their eyes. And uh, then we're gonna draw the neck. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw an S curve that comes down. And then we're gonna draw it curving and we'll, we'll stop there. We're gonna add feathers to it down here at the bottom. So let's draw the backside of our emu's neck and head. We're gonna match that same curve coming down. And oh, we could also draw the mouth. We're gonna draw, it kind of look grumpy. <laughs> curve it down at the end. And then we could also, I think they have a nostril right there. <laughs> there we go. Oh, also, I think they have their ear right here too. I don't know much about emus, but there, there's a dark spot right here behind their eye. This might be where their ear is. Okay, now let's draw the body. We're gonna draw the top of the body first. We're gonna start here. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up and then we're gonna come down like this. And their back of their tail is really bushy and lots of feathers. Next, we're gonna draw the rest of the body, but this part we're gonna draw zigzag to represent the feathers on our emu. So I'm gonna start up a little higher and draw zigzags coming down. We're gonna draw more, and we're gonna to try to draw it coming across like this, and then right at the end, we're gonna draw a little curve at, at the end for the tail. So we're gonna draw it coming down, and it's okay, don't try to match my zigzag line exactly, because I'm kind of making it messy and I'm also going fast, so here we go. Right here towards the end, we're gonna come down a little further and then curve in. That's for the, the feathery tail that kind of sticks out further than the rest of the body. Now we're ready to draw the legs. We're gonna draw one diagonal line coming down. Then we're gonna draw the knee, it kind of bulges in both directions. And then we're gonna draw it coming down. Now let's draw the back of this leg. We're gonna draw a curve that matches. And then right here, we're gonna draw a kind of a bulge for the back of the knee. And then we're gonna come down for the rest of the leg and we'll stop there. Now let's draw the other leg and we're gonna draw our emu walking. So I'm gonna draw it further back. Then we're gonna repeat the same curve right here that we did for the other leg. And then we're gonna come down like that. And we'll stop in the same distance as the other leg. Then we're gonna draw the other side of this leg coming down. There we go. Now we need to add the toes and they are kind of thick toes. So we're gonna draw a curve coming forward. Then we're gonna draw another curve right next to it like this. Then let's connect the first toe in and then we'll draw the bottom of the other foot coming back and connecting it. Okay, now let's do the same thing for the other foot, but we're gonna draw it a little bit different. We'll draw the curve, then we're gonna draw another curve, and then we're gonna add one more kind of toe right here. So letter V, and then we'll curve into the heel. And then we're gonna draw the lines for the rest of the toes on the bottom. Now we finished drawing our emu, but we still need to color it. This is going to be a lot of fun and I'll fast forward most of it, but I'll also talk about the different colors I'm using and also how to create the feather texture. I'm using my Art for Kids Hub markers. These are alcohol-based markers. If you have the same set and want to use the same colors, I picked out two grays, CG7. This is a cool gray, a dark cool gray, and then also a dark WG7. This is a warm gray. And then I have a 100 brown, 182 is a light blue that we'll use for the neck. And then also I have 14 orange for the eyes. Okay, first let's color in the neck. Now I'm switching to CG7. And if you don't have the same set, don't worry, you can use whatever you have, colored pencils or even paint. And I'm using this dark gray to color in the beak 
and also around the eye and the top of the head. And then we're also coloring down here, lower on the neck. I'm gonna color right here and make it messy so it looks like feathers. Let's also use this gray color for the legs. Then we can also use the orange for, this is kind of an orange red color for the eye. And now let's switch to our brown. This is kind of a gold brown color. And we're gonna color in the body solid. Also use this color to add ground and some plants or dead grass. Then we're gonna switch to our dark warm gray. I also added a little texture by layering this color on top of the first layer. And we're using this WG7, this is a warm gray. And we're gonna add texture to, I'm using the fine tip also. We're gonna just scribble texture lines for the feathers on our emu. And we can also start here at the top and kind of draw this darker line going down the back. And then we're gonna add little cross hatching for the feather texture. This is really fun because you don't have to worry about trying to make this perfect. You can just scribble the texture on there. And the messier, the better, right? I think their feathers actually look more like fur. Now on the tail, the texture is longer. So the hatching that you can add to this part of the body, you can make it longer than the rest of the body. There, that looks really cool. Except I noticed on the photos of an emu that it's darker on their belly. And I'm gonna go back over the belly to make it darker. This is going to make it look more 3D too. We finished drawing and coloring our emu and it turned out really cool. I'm sure your drawings look awesome too. Now I wanna also challenge you to finish your drawing by adding a background. You could complete the field that your emu is walking through and maybe there's some trees and other plants in the background. Oh, and maybe there are baby emus down here at the bottom too. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me and drawing an emu. Remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than mine. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.